Assalamu alaikum students and welcome to MLS online virtual classroom. Today is going to be your lesson number 5 and the start of unit number 2. I'm glad that we have completed unit number 1 and I hope every one of you have also completed the homework on your loose sheets and books as well. Today we are going to be covering page number 16 of Oxford Discover 6. So let's begin. We are here to sharpen our vocabulary words, so please get ready. The very first word is varied. Varied means diverse, mixed, having many different kinds of things or activities. For example, a varied diet includes fruit, vegetables and a small amount of meat. As you can see in the picture that there is vegetable and fruits, then a small quantity of sugar or sweet things then we have the dairy products and the protein and the meat things and here we have starchy and wheat products so this is called a varied diet which means a very diverse diet which has many varieties not just one kind of thing so something which has a variety is called varied the next word is beam Beam means a long piece of wood, metal, etc. that is used to support weight, for example, in the floor or ceiling of the building. Sample sentence, the workers constructed the building out of steel beams. You will understand this with a picture. Here you can see this horizontal ledge or horizontal concrete piece. And here you can also see the concrete horizontal beams. So basically this is called a beam which support the roof which support the roof and here it is supporting the window. So it is directly above the window sill and it is made of concrete which means um, cement and steel. So such a thing is called a beam. A beam can be of wood, metal or concrete as such in the picture. Next word is suspended. Suspended B means something which is hanging from something. Here we can have a sample sentence. The fan was suspended from the ceiling. Now we can see here the fan which is not directly, directly touching the ceiling but is suspended, is hanging from the ceiling with the help of this iron rod. So it is hanging. Here in this picture we have the bridge the famous Golden Gates Bridge in San Francisco and it is a suspension bridge. Why is it called suspension bridge? Because it is being suspended from the cables which are supporting it. As you can see the long cables which are running all across its length is supporting the length of the bridge. So we call it a suspension bridge. We can see the, we can say the bridge is being suspended from the cables. The next word is an obstacle. Obstacle as you have already known in the very first video is a hindrance, is a barrier which does not allow you to go, go past through it or to cross it. Something that makes it difficult for you to do to go or do something. For example, when the tree fell across the road, it created an obstacle for the cars. When a tree is lying on the road, basically cars cannot go over it. Jeeps might may be, but the cars cannot go over it or cross it. So it has created a barrier, a hurdle. Here as you can see in the picture that the cartoon is jumping from one cliff to the other. So in such a way the gap is the obstacle. We can overcome obstacle which means we can pass through obstacle with various methods. But the fact being that the gap is creating a hindrance in crossing so he has to jump over it similarly here as well the cartoon is jumping over the fence the fence can also be called an obstacle because it is a hindrance if you want to go uh, across it you will have to jump it or either you can or you have to uh, go beneath it as well but in games or in sports is basically jumping over the fence or the obstacles the next word is situation. Situations means circumstances or position. The things that are happening in a particular place or time. So basically we have a very crisis situation nowadays with the um, uh, coronavirus in 
uh, all over the globe we can see we have a circumstance we can say we are in a position in a very bad position so situation is anything situation is anything that is happening at a place or time the example is I was an hour late for class which put me in a difficult situation when a person is obviously late for a class he will be asked about why is he being late so he might not be entertained in the class he might not be allowed in the class which is why the writer says that it was a difficult situation for him the next word is cable cable is one a set of wires covered with plastic etc and two a very strong thick rope or chain for example strong cables carry the weight of the bridge as you can see cables and suspension bridge so these huge long steel chains or rope you can say is basically a cable which is holding the bridge in the suspension bridge so these are also called cables and as well as this is also called a cable so this is a wire that is being covered with plastic for uh, to protect it from damage so it is used basically can used for um, data transmission or charging etc so this is the pictorial representation of the first definition which is a cable with plastic wire the next word is overcome overcome we have already studied an obstacle when we overcome something we defeat that thing we go past it we overcome it we manage or control it so to manage or to manage to control or defeat something or someone if you try hard enough you will overcome the problem obviously hard work is a key to success so here you can see the person is jumping from one cliff to another and it is he's overcoming which means he's going past through it he's controlling the gap he is defeating the gap and overcoming through it the next word is support support means to carry the weight of someone or something means physically carrying the weight physically supporting something or second to help or encourage someone or something by saying or showing that you agree with them you can encourage someone by uh, showing your agreement with them or you can morally encourage someone you can physically uh, support someone you can uh, financially support someone so support can be in any form be it physical financial moral support the legs of the table support the top let's see in the picture the very first definition is being explained the legs you can see the legs or the supports these are also called supports it is basically holding the top the top of the table it is basically carrying the weight of the table top and hence it is becoming a support all right and in the second sentence as you have seen to help or encourage someone which means you can help someone for example you can help um, a friend um, a friend in some competition you can help a teacher by helping you can support a teacher by help you can support teacher by helping him or her you can support your friend by helping him out in probably a difficult lesson that he or she does not understand so support can come in many forms